Hi folks, Dave here. Another one of the dedicated soundtrack labels is of course Film Score Monthly. So I thought I'd run through my Film Score Monthly collection and it's going to be pretty quick actually. Um, about half of it is things by John Williams and Jerry Goldsmith which I've already shown in those dedicated uh, videos but we'll have a very very quick run through them. So um, the majority of Film Score Monthly releases get categorised in their two uh, series Golden Age Classics and Silver Age Classics. Um, I think Golden Age counts as the kind of 30s to 50s and uh, Silver Age counts as 60s to whenever you like. Um, so just to quickly run through again uh, the Goldsmith ones are Flim Flam Man which has also got uh, a girl named Suna hasn't got artwork for that um, and what Birdman will like is the fact that most of these are picture discs so they've got imagery on them just seems to be the thing for uh, for FSM uh, 100 rifles the illustrated man based on the uh, short story series by Ray Bradbury Outland. That's a two disc. The prize. Uh, yeah. Um, the Satan Bug, listed as archival edition, whatever that means. And the Twilight Zone, the movie. Right, so that's that's the Goldsmith subsection, and then John Williams, where we've got Accidental Tourist, which I already had on vinyl, Black Sunday, Diamond Head, which is paired with a load of Shiffering Gone with the Wave, Guide for the Married Man, John Goldfarb, Please Come Home. So a lot of these are John Williams's um, early sort of sixties scribble comedies and, um, and and disaster movies and westerns and, and political thrillers and things like that. Uh, Man of Love Cat Dancing, that's also got the unused score by Michel Legrand. None but Brave. Not with My Wife You Don't, which is also paired with George Dunning's Any Wednesday. There is a second album of more music from Not With My Wife You Don't, which I haven't got. Uh, the Paper Chase with the Poseidon Adventure took me a long time to get hold of that. It's a 300, no, no 3000 copy edition. Um, Penelope paired with Henry Mancini's Bachelor in Paradise. Uh, Ghost Breaker um, TV pilot paired with Jericho by Jerry Goldsmith. Night Watch paired with Killer by Night by Quincy Jones. I'm running through these pretty quick because I've shown them before. Uh, and the TV Omnibus. I don't think there was ever a volume 2 as far as I know. But now we get on to the rest of the stuff. So from the Golden Age what have we got? We've got the Bravados which is Alfred Newman and Hugo Friedhofer. Um, a lot of these I bought fairly recently online fairly cheaply second hand from like yeah Oxfam this one was a tenner a lot of them were bought via Oxfam I think somebody must be flogging those off um, Green Mansions which is uh, mostly born stuff Kappa I've talked about this before it's it's got bits of what was the abandoned Villa Lobos score on it um, some corn gold which is King's Row um, but it's also got the sea wolf so that's a that's a double disc joey as well as the 
with King's Row, you've got King's Thief, which is paired with Knights of the Round Table, and those are by Miklos Roja. Lily, which was Bronislav Kappa's uh, Oscar winner. Only gold on the beach. And that's paired with the Secret of Santa Vittoria. Franz Waxman's Prince Valiant. Alfred Newman's Prisoner of Zender. I think that was another. Uh, yeah, that was seven quid off of off of um, Oxfam. Saddle the Wind. Is it getting into Elmer Bernstein territory now? Um, what's the year of that? 1958. So that's pretty early for Elmer Bernstein. Uh, that was that was a tenor, yeah. So the wind, we have the silver chalice by Franz Waxman, and that's a that's a two CD. That does not look like an original double CD case from them, so I think somebody's replaced the case on that. But fair enough. Um. Then, Tionkin's The Thing From Another World. The thing that was obviously remade by John Carpenter all those years later. This has also got, in fact it's got more music from Take the High Grounds than it's got from The Thing. Uh, 26 minutes of The Thing From Another World and 51 minutes of Take the High Ground. Um, I suppose it's just marketed under that title because that's a better known movie. Uh, what do we have? We have Untamed by Franz Waxman. And we have Valley of the Kings. Uh, bizarrely, a two minute King Solomon's Mines trailer. And then Men of the Fighting Lady. So that's all the Golden Age stuff. And then I've got a smaller selection of other Silver Age things besides the Williams and Goldsmith. The Big Bust by David Shire, that's great fun, that's a kind of parody um, disaster movie. That's taking the mick out of the sort of thing that John Williams was doing at that time, the um, towering inferno and earthquake and all those kind of things. John Barry, born free. Uh, Morricone, Days of Heaven. It's really nice. Uh, an early Bruce Broughton, Ice Pirates. Strange movie. Um, more glorious John Barry is King Kong. Deluxe edition, it says. Uh, discs and we've got 70 minutes on disc one and 69 on disc two so lots of music from John Barry there Oops, that is caught That's better. and more Morricone Navajo Joe and Leonard Rosenman's a Man Called Horse. Rather bizarrely, A Man Called Horse was by Leonard Rosenman, and the sequel, Return of A Man Called Horse, was by Lawrence Rosenthal. That's almost it, but there are two oddities. Um, Silver Age Classics, but not actually film score, is Maurice Jarre's Concert Works, uh, which is 72 minutes of stuff. Interesting, interesting. Um, I think that was on special offer from FSM, I think. Let's have a look. 
yeah, that was seven dollars at the same time as I bought the Rose and the Jackal and Yes Giorgio. And then finally, an oddity that the FSM label was kind of resurrected for briefly. Volume 17, number one, was a, a Kickstarter project by Lucas Kendall. Um, yeah. And that was Sky Fighter by Bobby Villarreal. And that comes with a CD of the score. But it's only a short film. Um, so that's 12 and a half minutes. But then it also comes with uh, a Blu-ray of the film itself, which is about 16 minutes. Um, and as with such um, crowdfunded jobbies all the funders names are listed on the inside there uh, yeah wonder if there's any names of people we know I'm not gonna sit here and read through those trying to find ones but uh, yeah so that's my FSM collection. Um, 42 of those. Uh, what's left? Done in Charter, done La La Land, done Vareas. Well, except for the CDs, because there's so many of those. Quartet, I suppose. Silver screen? Anyway, till next time, stay fresh, cheese bags. <laughs>